Why can't microevolution be extrapolated to account for major evolutionary change? A number of evolutionists say that microevolution can be extrapolated to uh, macroevolutionary changes. They say things like, well, you know, the, the distance across uh, a big room might be pretty far, but you take one step at a time, eventually you'll get to the other side. And by other analogies like this, they try to minimize the, the difficulties. Uh, the problem is that when you, when you look at real biological systems uh, using the analogy of walking across a room, you see that, that the room is not a nice, doesn't have a nice smooth floor, but there's barbed wire and there's landmines and there's deep chasms and there's walls in between you and, and the other side. So then the question becomes, can you just kind of walk across and get to the other side? And um, that's, uh, that's a, um, a little uh, example from everyday life, but when you look at uh, biological systems, microevolution is essentially small changes in pre-existing systems. Uh, you kind of like changing the color of the paint on your car or, or some such thing. Uh, it has not shown, uh, it does not show the path as far as, uh, as I see to get to completely new systems. Uh, just because you have a, a, a blue Chevy and a, and a brown Chevy does not mean that uh, Chevrolets came about by undirected processes. Um, the machines that we see in the cell uh, are what I call irreducibly complex and that means they have a number of different parts and you have to have all the parts present uh, before you get any function. Uh, so <clears throat> only when you have succeeded in putting together a number of parts do you get any function uh, whatsoever. In microevolution, microevolution has to start with a pre-existing um, uh, function and gradually improve it. Uh, but that does not help us to explain how these systems that require multiple interacting components uh, get together. And so uh, a number of people, I have met a number of people who like to say that macroevolution is, is simply an extension of microevolution. Uh, the problem is I, I see a number of difficulties with that in real biology and if they wanted to flesh out that explanation with real examples, then I think uh, then they would be dealing with science. Right now, I think it's, it's, just, uh, it's just kind of a word explanation.